Hello. How's everybody's Wednesday going? It's got to be better than T.I.'s day. It's November 6th, also known as Stranger Things Day. Yes, on this day in 1983, Will Byers went missing. Happy Stranger Things Day, everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Will Byers went missing. Who's ready for trivia? I know I am. Boom! Busting into the room! It's Matt. Hey, audience. Anybody having nightmares about the Little Mermaid Live's flounder puppet? Kill it with fire! Ooh. Large blank eyeballs haunted. Also, Shaggy looked nothing like a crab. He looked like Michael Jackson in Thriller more than he looked like a crab. Because it's a mermaid under the sea. It wasn't me, but it was a mermaid under the sea. All right, I gotta remind y'all about some of our upcoming games. It's in my contract. Friday is music trivia night on HQ, all right? So play HQ Teens with the godmother of rock and roll, Melody Alana, this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. This week's tune game is a flashback Friday. I had to say that, right? A flashback Friday edition featuring songs from the late 90s. Yeah, Sunday we got Futurama trivia. So study up, all you Futurama fans, or don't. In the words of Fry, when you look this good, you don't have to know anything. All right, Monday in the trivia justice system. Savage question-based offenses are considered especially heinous. It's law and order SVU trivia, babies. Dun, 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 dun. We're not wasting any time during season nine, okay? The finale is Thursday, November 14th, and we will have a big jackpot up for grabs to help you level up. We're gonna multiply every point you earn tonight by two. You're welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Tonight we got 15 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than trying to get a Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's very dangerous. That sandwich, I mean. Yeah, people getting hurt. Don't hurt nobody. It's a chicken sandwich, okay? Go on YouTube. Fry up a breast or a thigh. You know, bread it, season it how you like. Get some pickles, okay? A brioche bun. You can get that at any supermarket. A good supermarket. Toast that a little bit. Then mix you up a little mayonnaise with, you know. Come on now, Chipotle. <sighs> yeah. May <laughs> Some of our staff thought it would be fun to see me react to mean tweets. Oh, crap. This should be fun. All right, I'm ready for this. Show me the first mean tweet. Please, 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 HQ Trivia, stop Matt from singing. That's from Jim Alm. Well, Jim Alm, no. Fight me, bro. Come at me. All right. Danny SVA, please stop singing. You are not good. Keep it for your shower. Well, I, I answered the last guy when I said no. Matt, are you... You may want to rethink Matt's constant eating and chewing food. The slurping and swallowing of his mug contents can be heard. He's mic'd up. No, I'm not. And we can hear him suck up snot. Not very professional. You can hear me suck up snot? What the hell kind of headphones are you listening to me on? You weirdo. A great gift would be making Sharon Carpenter the only host since Matt is terrible. That'd be a gift to Sharon and all HQDs. Thank you, TR2V. Thank you for your kind, kind words. Anyway, uh, yeah, I love you all. Even the haters, you know? Just get that dirt off your shoulder. You mad. Why you mad? Don't be mad. Get glad. Don't be mad. Woo! All right, let's get the game going. We got a couple more seconds till we kick it off. I'm ready. Y'all are ready. This is what we play for. The dollar dollar bills. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, let's do it. Yeah, come on, let's do it. I had a Cinnabon yesterday, so this jacket's a little snug. And I slurped it. I slurped my Cinnabon. Loudly into a microphone. Nom 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 nom. Eating all the time. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Oh yeah, nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. 
Which is one of the names of the little women in Louisa May Alcott's classic? Kal-El, Joe, or Thor? What's it gonna be? Y'all fired up about the movie? So many little women, including Amy, Beth, Meg, and Joe. Plus, maybe some little men. And also, maybe some regular sized men and women. 85,780 knew what to do. Aw, oh, shoot, look at you. Don't forget, you can play HQ all the time, anytime. Uh, you don't have to wait till 9 p.m. every night to get your trivia fix, okay? You can play on our daily challenges. Get yourself some points and some coins for every question you get right. Question number two, make it do what it do. In the social network, Justin Timberlake said, a million dollars wasn't cool, but what was? Love and respect, a billion dollars, but staying in school. I'm bringing sexy back, yep. I'll say that I think a million dollars is pretty cool. But according to bad influence Justin Timberlake, it's not. You gotta have a billion dollars to be cool. I think that's not a great message for the children. 54,745 got it right. Justin Timberlake thinks it's only cool to have a billion dollars. I don't totally disagree with that. I mean, it's pretty cool. Don't get knocked out of the game on a tough question, okay? Make sure you grab some extra lives right about now. Click that pop-up, or you can get them whenever you want by tapping on that little heart icon down there on the bottom right side of your screen. It's up to you. On to Q3. Yee yee. Here we go. Question three. Which of these is thought to be older than the sun? Rings of Saturn, Kuiper Belt, or Earth's water supply? What's it going to be at question number three? All right, if you're drinking water right now, think about this. At least part of that liquid is likely older than the entire solar system, including the sun. It came from an ice cloud in outer space. Ice clouds. Space is crazy. Also, dang, that was savage. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Yeah. All right, 17,000 moving forward. Use an extra life if you got knocked out. That's what they're there for. Question four. Which of these classic desserts appears in weaponized form in a James Bond film? Bomb glassy, baked Alaska, or bananas foster? Hmm? All right, let's not spend too much time thinking about problematic bad guys, Mr. Wint and Mr. Kidd, but let's do give some credit to their brilliant plan trying to blow up 007 with an exploding bomb glassy. In 1971's Diamonds Are Forever. You want dessert or bomb? Look at that. Surprise. Whoa. They are all I need to please me. All right, wow, wow, we wow. That was savage too, huh? 12,812 of y'all got it right. Savage question song. How do you got it wrong? Okay, here we go. It's a short season, so make sure to pick up a point multiplier to earn even more points than you think, okay? Multiply your points by 10 or 15 or do whatever you want to do. Points get you to new levels. Levels get you closer to the cash. Y'all know how it goes. All right now. Moving right along to the next question. Here we go. Question number five for the children. Which of these languages grammatically genders all nouns? Arabic, Farsi, or Turkish? What's it going to be? All right. You wouldn't know it from English, but most popular languages have two or three genders for nouns, but not Turkish or Farsi. But French, Spanish, Italian, and Arabic all gender their nouns. Yeah. I wonder if HQ is male or female in French. 21,189. Got it right. I was uh, almost, nope. Not, a uh, uh, little split. Okay, here we go. Question number six. What country's current official currency is known as Lira? Italy, Monaco, or Lebanon? All I'm about is the dollar, dollar, dollar bill. Lira, where's it at? All right, we try to keep you on your toes. And one way is to remind you that it's possible to be absolutely sure of something, yet still be wrong. For you see, Italy is on the euro. But Lira, as a unit, lives on in countries like Turkey, Syria, and Lebanon. Oh my gosh. 11,631 
Just got it right. That was a savage question. Here we go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Okay. Question seven. Here we go. Which of these actors is British? Kate Blanchett, Tilda Swinton, or Nicole Kidman? The British are coming. Who is it? <laughs> I see some Australians have uh, wandered into this question. Classic Australian move because they're so friendly. Love Australians. Kate and Nicole, you're great. But Tilda's the answer here. Yes, yes, y'all. Tilda Swinton is British. AF. 11,471 got it right. That's how it's done all night. Yeah, yeah. Question number eight. No, you feeling great. The game Liar's Poker is played with which of these? Currency, dice, or hand gestures? What's it gonna be? Sure, anyone can play poker with cards, but if you want to elevate your game, pun, get out some dollar bills and play poker with the serial numbers on the bottom of those bills, okay? Who knew you could use money for so many things? 7,003 of you. Got it right at question number eight. We're moving on to question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine and so divine. That's right. All right, Q9, let's get it. Which of these nouns was declared a verb in the classic official preppy handbook? Silver, Connecticut, or summer? Locking those answers, babies, because the time is almost up. Where my official preppies at, huh? If you have ever uttered the phrase, I'm summering at the beach house, you might be a preppy, at least according to the 80s satirical style guide. 9,751 got summer. Scoo's out for the summer. I can't wait. Okay, okay, question number 10, time to get it in. Which of these literary awards for fiction has resulted in tied winners? Booker Prize, National Book Award, or Pulitzer Prize? What's it gonna be? All right. You don't have to go far back, okay? This year's winners are Margaret Atwood and Bernadine Evaristo, tying and splitting the award in defiance of the rule book for the prestigious Booker Prize. Yeah, yeah, 7,058 got it right. We're moving on. If you got knocked out again, you could use a life. Yeah, yeah. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven. Let's get it. A flying fox can be all except which of these animals? Fish, bat, or fox? Lion fox. All right, the creature usually called a flying fox is a bat, right? And there's also a type of fish called a flying fox, but there's no flying fox fox. As an aside, I'd like to meet the person who named the flying fox fish, because that is a very bold name. Fox, what does the fox say? Hotty, hotty, hotty ho. 7,477 got it right on to question number 12. Here we go. Besides the Australian continent, marsupials are native to which of these places? The Americas, Madagascar, or Eurasia? What's it gonna be? All right, evolution from back when the continents were all connected is very weird, okay? Because even though most marsupials are on the Australian continent, they actually originate in North and South Americas, where some, like possums, are still around. Yes. 4,367 of you got it right. And sometimes possum gets spelled with a O, because that's what you say when you go outside, you hear some rumbling in the trash, you be like, oh, possum! But the O is silent. Yeah. Oh, possum, what was that? Oh, the possum. Okay, question 13, Jelly Beans. A 20th century bald presidential nominee inspired a key character in a film by which director? Billy Wilder, Alfred Hitchcock, or Stanley Kubrick? Who's that gonna be? Notably bald Democratic nominee, Al Adlai <laughs> Stevenson inspired the character of President Merkin Muffley in Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove. Credit to President Muffley, it's not easy to win the presidency when your name is Merkin. Oh, you what? Stanley Kubrick was the answer I was looking for, and 2,836 of you got it right. Let's go to work. Only two more questions until the prize. Here we go, question 14. Which is not currently the name of a team in both Japan's and America's major league, major baseball leagues, Giants, Tigers, or Pirates? 
not currently the name of a team in Japan's or America's major baseball leagues. Okay, you can root for the Tigers and Giants in either league, but in Japan, the Pirates stopped playing as a team in the 1950s because they were all arrested. No, that's just a joke. They weren't really Pirates. 4,475 of you got it right. Pirates was the answer. We're moving on to the final question of the evening. Woo! Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? Question 15. Oh, we made it. Which of these is greatest in number? Galaxies in the universe, stars in the Milky Way, or trees on Earth? What is it going to be? All right, scientists believe that there are 100 to 400 billion stars in our galaxy and 100 to 200 billion galaxies in the universe. But guess what? There are three trillion with a T trees on Earth. Yeah, tree hordes and old water. This is a very cool planet. 1,336 of you just won HQ trivia! Stop singing! I have soft ears. My ears hurt. Oh, Matt. Matt's the worst. Yeah, what's up, Keegmeister? <laughs> 75. You won. Nader. Fox catcher. I know you'd win. You got the fox question right. Bobby Boo. <laughs> Wilbert Gibb. Dreamy. Dreamy Casey. Noni. JRC, Monoberg, uh, Turkas. Congratulations, 1,336 winners. Y'all just did that. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Holla at your boy on the socials. Until next time, H Quizzes. Stay beautiful and stay lovely. And sing the song that your heart wants to sing. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep.